So welcome to this week's vlog. Today we're actually going to talk about um, moving up the levels. And you know, as a jumping barn, we tend to get a lot of riders who they're all ready, they're jumping, they think they've done cross poles, and now we need to do three foot. The truth is, is there's so many fundamentals at the lower level that you need to learn before you can move up. Uh, generally, my rule of thumb is that I need a first place rib in a division championship or, you know, consistent results in the first, second, third. It, and your results will be based on, you know, how many people are in the class, you know, what level of show, is it gold level show, bronze level show, or a schooling show. Um, but I've got to see some consistency before I allow my riders to move up. And the basic reason is, you know, is really just that there's so much to learn when it comes to getting straight to the jump, to getting that same rhythm, that the height of the jump is really not the problem, um, but it will definitely add to the complexity of the question you are asking your horse. So if you can get, can't get straight or rhythmical to a cross pull, well, there's a little bit of room for forgiveness there. Your horse will forgive you a little bit and help you a little bit because really it's just a cross rail. Same thing at two foot, you know, depending on the size of horse at two foot three, they're going to be less forgiving. So you have to, you know, have more of your ducks in a row. You have to be straight. Um, at the cross bowls in the two foot, it's okay. You'll still get over the jump if your horse is bent to the outside because you're holding through the turn. Maybe A, you're not strong enough yet because you're only eight or nine years old. Maybe you've just started riding. There's all kinds of things that come into play and it's really not about how old you are, how long you've been riding. It's just about what you're able to do. Um, and it will help you if you go up one level at a time after those results have come in to find holes in your riding. So it's easy to ride one horse, ride it to two foot three, two foot six, three foot, and then you get on another horse who maybe is a little bit more sensitive to your leg or doesn't know to go around um, in a frame and, and where to go and hasn't done a hundred cross pole rounds in its past um, to ride. So when you get something a bit more difficult, drop back down, get those results. It provides a consistent result and consistent riding for you. And that way you'll, your body will always have that. You'll be able to get on, you'll be able to ride that same, you've been able to do it for years. It has muscle memory on what it's like to ride to that hunter course and you feel less nervous. So really my my big thing today is just that, you know, be patient. Even though you can jump bigger at home, does not mean that you should be necessarily jumping bigger at the show. You know, go in, get some results at two foot, two foot three. You know, then we can move up to two foot six, two foot nine, three foot. I tend to let my students do two heights, um, but I will also say, you know, we're not ready to move there today, so let's scratch that class. So if we have crappy results in two foot six, I'm not going to push my my student or ask my student or actually even allow my student to go to two foot nine because they do have to have that consistency um, not only as a rider but as uh, for the horse so that it can perform well um, that's pretty much my speech for this week uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon